All right, a few minutes later, we got this back behind there like it's supposed to be. You may have to use a hammer. Tap this in just a little bit. Push the bushings back up. And now, we uh, set some bolts back in. We're going to lower, lower the uh, main jack. All right, all back together. All four bolts up there. Three bolts there. Shocks back in place, bump stops there. Depending on how many notches you go, uh, you may either have to cut down your bump stop or remove it all together. Because there won't, there's only two or two and a half inches of travel now. If you take out another inch or two inches, you're not going to have any any gap at all. So, to review, remove four bolts here. They are 15 millimeter. Three bolts here that are 19 millimeter or three quarters of an inch. Remove your bump stop, it just pries off. Remove your shock if you have to. Uh, you'll definitely at least have to remove the bottom. And it is 19 millimeter also. Um, if you can, remove these uh, Torx nuts. That's a 12 sided wrench like a like an Allen wrench, only it's got 12 sides. And there's a whole series of those. I cannot remove these. That's why I took my shock all the way off and also had to notch my, uh, my plate. All right, so that's all there is to that. Um, let me put my wheel back on and take it down off the jack and see what it looks like. All right. Here it is lowered rear end. That took it about two inches, inch and a half, maybe two. Front end, remember we did a couple weeks ago. Finished project, well, at least for now, finished lowering project, because I'm not going to go any lower, because I drive my car every day. got to be practical. There you go. Not too hard of a project. Keep in touch. Uh, I'll keep doing stuff to it. Right now, this is a Steel Dragon VW. See ya.